What's up, YouTube? I want to show you what I've been up to lately. This is a project we completed at 368, where we're using this microsite to announce to the team where we're going on retreat this year. So we had six teams compete against each other to unlock the location first. I need to give a huge shout out to my coworker, Trevor Navarre. He created all the illustrations, Lottie files, and a lot of the concept that you're seeing for this. So let me show you some of the highlights of how we put this together in Webflow. So the game's using two collections, supplies and team members. I have everyone added in here, and actually a couple minutes before we were supposed to start, we noticed some groups were only gonna have four people. So I was able to easily add in our mascot here, Frank, and he updated on all pages thanks to the CMS. This is broken up into a couple key pages, so depending on where you lose, we can choose which step to send you back to. And if we look at the home page here, the first screen is this intro screen, and the second is choose your team members. So again, this is a collection, and then I'm just saving basically the team members you choose inside cookies or a local storage. So I'm getting the URL to the image, the name of the teammate, and that way I don't have to put this collection on every page. It's just going to remember your selection. So once you have all that selected, we're sending you off to the supplies page, which again is another collection here doing sort of the same thing. So the code for that looks like if you haven't selected a team member before, I'm checking that local storage, then I'll send you back to the home page so you can't skip a step. I'm also using a library called HowlerJS, which makes audio playing reliable in all browsers. It's really nice and easy to use. Got some page load interactions going on here, followed by the GSAP draggable for teammate selection. So what you'll notice here is whenever you're dragging on one of these collection items, I'm checking to see if it's overlapping a drop zone, which are all these static divs. And we're doing that whenever you're hovering. So that way we can sort of scale up the drop zone whenever you're overlapping. And then if you release, that's either making the selection or you release when you're not on top of drop zone, we slide it back to its resting point. So that's this on drag in. And this duration here is where we can choose how long it takes to slide back to that resting point. So you'll notice that we can basically release. It slides back in. It makes the sound effect um, using HowlerJS. And we can also replace selections here and it updates sort of the local storage. Once all spots are filled, we send you off to the game page. So the main game is really just a horizontal scroll using scroll trigger and scroll smoother. This is a Lottie file with a Webflow interaction. And whenever you hit certain points of the scroll, we're showing chat bubbles or revealing flyouts. You'll notice we're tracking velocity here too. And once you go a certain speed, it randomly picks a team member to get arrested. So that's all using this velocity number here. At first I had this number a little too large and it was really easy to get arrested, but we updated that after the competition was over just to make it a little easier uh, to go through and not fail. So we have different flyouts here and you can answer certain questions based on if you get it right or wrong, it's gonna, you know, whether annihilate a teammate or allow you to continue. And once you lose everyone, you're gonna have to start over. So it's really important to keep all those teammates. So I have the background layer here and then the van and then the foreground layer above with all our foreground objects. And we're just able to animate this game track and that's what allows it to make it feel like the van's driving through this space. And then I also have this game message div which holds all of the questions. So if I just wanna go ahead and maybe select all our questions, set them to block for now. So this is a list of everything all the way to the very last one you're gonna see. And these are triggered based on different points of the scroll. But you'll notice based on the option you choose, they each have a different embed with a different message. So it's gonna replace the word teammate with the name of the teammate that got randomly selected. And it'll just show this message if you choose this option. The fix the tire game was another fun one to pull off. So each team member scans their QR code. It takes them to sort of this game page. And if they beat the game, they get a letter to unlock the code together and move on. So the way this works is we have to create QR codes in real time to know which spot this person is in, and then also to know whether or not they have the right supply. So you'll notice here, I can pass in a team member name, I can pass in a spot number, and it gives the right letter, the right color, everything based on that. 
And then if I have this dash here, it means they don't have the right supply packed. And if I remove the dash, now they would have double the time to beat the game. So all that's using a library called qrcode.js. And we're able to just create QR codes in real time by just passing in a URL here. So one of my favorite parts of this is the tornado game. We have a really funny baby mode if you can't beat the real thing. But whenever you go through this, you basically dodge tornadoes. It's checking to see if you hit one of these things and you'll lose lives in that case. And once you make it to the end, it shows your final score, reveals the treat location. So all kinds of fun stuff there. So if we look at how this is set up, I basically have this drive div, which is position fixed. It holds the whole drive game here. So I basically used the symbols here. That way I'm just repeating this instead of creating um, a bunch of these. And here I have this, you know, tornado inside the lane. I can select this guy and basically position him with margin wherever I want. And then some of them, you know, are animated to move between two lanes using CSS. So each of these have sort of like a hit zone. That's this div right here. And when that overlaps the hit zone of the van, which is this div right here, that's when we have a point lost. So the way this works is every 100 milliseconds, we're going to check each of the tornadoes one by one, and we're testing to see if it's overlapping the hit zone of the van. And if so, we run our code to make you lose a point. And once you lost all your points, lives equal zero, we play sort of, you know, the game over music and show the game over div, all that good stuff. I think at the end here, we have the wind screen, so I can just show you that. It's basically just a video. And inside that wind screen, we also have your final score div, which tallies everything up. So there's a lot I wasn't able to cover in here just because of time, but feel free to dig through the clonable, try out the game for yourself. And that's just kind of a high level of how we put this together. Oh, look at this. There's Luke. Luke, they gave you hair. <laughs> this is adorable. Dragon teammates. Oh my God, this is incredible. There's Kelsey. So cool. Okay. Can you just drag in any three items? Yeah. We need snacks, snacks. for sure. Oh, call me. Oh my God, it's a Gordon sign. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> cross, the, cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. Let's keep it simple. Uh, oh, Luke, you died. No. Just like that. Before we guess, we need to get that together. That is a I-49. That's West again? I-10 West. Oh, you got arrested. Hey, that's actually... hey, but you're not dead, I'm so. Not dead. It's just me, Haley, and Frank. Yeah, I don't know, but they crossed you out like you're dead, bro. Yeah. yeah. That took out GTA style. Oh, oh, oh it's because you go too fast. You're scrolling too fast. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, just slow scroll, slow scroll. You can go like 40 or something. All hit, miles per hour, yeah. Oh, look at this. This is fancy. Okay, so it's healthy with R. Mine runs D. Carried your butt. A. Ryan's is A. Thank you. Dora? D-O-R-A? Rodeo? No? Road. See? <laughs> told you, Kelsey. Told you you weren't the weakest link. I clearly am. O-A-R. Road. Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't eat, eat a teammate. We can't pick snacks. Eat Frank. Eat Frank. Okay. Oh my god. That's terrible. <laughs> Step on it. I'm, I'm, I'm sketched out. Hey, you look sketchy. Crisis avoided? Oh, it's in there. That's what it is. Oh, you guys. What is it? Use your arrow keys to move? I'm so oh. sorry, Brittany. I'm not good at this. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. They made a video. You can do it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry, guys. You can do it. Oh, you could do baby mode if you wanted. Baby mode. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're trying to win this thing. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it slower? It is. I bet you get more points for beating the real game. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Dude. Oh my god. What is it? Is it gonna say? Is it gonna say? You know, yeah, no. Dude, uh, I wouldn't. I would not want to miss this. You know. Right. You see that no. Route sixty-six. 
<laughs> Oklahoma City. There we go. Okay, C. Can I click it all? Okay, here we go. <laughs> 97. 